The Emperor and the Season of Fire and Ice is out. So we're going to be taking a look at the new car and trying to determine what its play style, its natural play style is. So to find that play style, we're going to be seeing how the car performs in four different areas. 50-50s, dribbles, power shots, and aerials. And also, this car is a breakout hitbox, which uh, probably will have an effect on the playstyle. Um, breakout hitboxes are very long, very skinny, and very short. Oh my. Oh hey, he's playing it too. The Emperor. Oh no. Oh, that's a Fennec, just kidding. The front actually looks kind of similar with how the lights are and everything. Oh, ah, oh, I was trying to find the corner there to shoot it in. It's a little tricky. The, the front of this car seems to be rounded and sometimes rounded cars can be tough. Oh, tough to find the corner. Depends on the car. We shall see as the game progresses. Oh, nice. Well, that was the second time the corner failed me, or I failed the corner. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> wow, what a save. Oh, I tried to put it over the top of him. There we go. Finally got a corner hit. <laughs> One thing I like about this car so far is that visually, it really exemplifies the breakout hitbox pretty well. Some of the other breakout hitboxes, like the Whiplash I reviewed recently, looks really wide, but this actually looks skinny, which is correct for the hitbox. Those kind of visual indicators always make it easier when you're trying to either learn a new hitbox or just play the car in general. Ooh. All right, let's try the dribble here. My guess is the dribbles will feel pretty good. <laughs> That's the thing about the breakout hitbox. So each stat of the car, like the length, width, height, etc., um, that usually affects how it feels in, in the different areas, like I alluded to earlier. And the length is generally really good for flicks. Um, the reason, oh no. <laughs> No, I wasn't sure which side he was going to shoot it on. That was smart of him. I think he was going to go for the, the side I was on, and he, he changed his mind and got the goal from it. Um, but when you try and dribble, the ball sometimes <laughs> uh, will kind of bounce. Let's see if I can get it here. If he'll let me. So you like catch the ball, and you see how it bounces like that? Well, when you have a longer hitbox car, um, you can still hit the ball. Ooh. Okay, we're not really getting a chance to. But basically, the most effective, like, or the the largest, I don't know what you'd call it, angle of the hitbox is like, oh wait, here's a chance, is like front flip like that. And so you saw kind of it bounced on top of my car, but I was still able to hit it because the length of the car is just so... Uh, so much. Corner. Ooh. That was a, it was a bit of a weak corner hit there. Oh, there we go. That's a power hit. That's going across the entire field. Nice. There we go, let's put it into the corner. Yeah, he's gonna have a hard time shooting from that angle. Oh, I think I barely clipped that. Power shot again, ooh. <laughs> I totally missed the corner and actually just hit the back of the car. Once again, you see that, that effective angle, or, or not angle, but you kinda know what I mean, like where front flipping is like the way to make your car the most defensively big or cover the most area 
Oh, there we go again. Oh, yeah. Okay. Flicks. There's no question about it. Flicks feel good. All right, let's try another flick. Something fancy? No. <laughs> GG. All right, so dribbles are good. I mean, that's kind of an easy one out of the way. The power shots were a little rough, and that may be because of how short the car is. Oh, we could equip a new decal. Oh, look at that. That is a pretty nice decal. It's kind of like the Huntress, but um, where you actually have color all over the entire car. All right, let's take a look in training. We usually take a look at the hitbox of the car in training, which is really easy to do. Whoa, wait a second. Do you see the purple in the back trunk of the car? Whoa, dude, that is cool looking. Okay, that's a side note. Um, what we're gonna do though, is we're gonna take a look at the hitbox by just flipping it onto any side in free play. And oh my goodness. Yeah, so the, the hitbox is colliding with the ground exactly where the visual of the car makes it look like it should collide, which is a good sign. You want the visual and the uh, and the physical to line up. Yeah, okay, so it's like right where the headlights are. So that little like shark fin nose part of it, that is not part of the hitbox at all. I see, I see. Then so the corner should be like right... Oh, wait, hang on. Oh yeah, okay, so the side is actually where the wheels are, not where the car body is. So that means that the corner is actually a little ways out from the nose of the car. Okay, that explains it. And we'll just check the back, just for funsies. Okay, so... Spoiler goes in a little bit. It's not bad, not too bad. The top is obviously the best, which honestly, if it's really so good at flicks, that's really what you want. So knowing what we know about the front corner now, we'll see if it's any easier to maybe hit those power shots. Um, but yeah, we got to take a look at the aerials and the 50-50s as well. We had a couple 50-50s in the first game. Not too many. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> so let's pay attention to it here. I mean, we are a short car, but... We have that car length, so if we use that to our advantage in the 50-50s, like making sure that we are like flipping into it, like front flipping into it, we may have greater success. Oh, there we go. That was kind of a corner hit. Oh, this is gonna bounce. <laughs> I have no boost. Oh, he's flip resetting. That was cool. All right, here we go. Power shot. Yeah? Oh, thank you. That was more with the front than the uh, corner. Both corners and how the front matches are important in power shots. So it's nice to know that at least one of them is feels solid. Ooh. Yeah, so that was an interesting 50-50. We kind of uh, bopped it up after he hit it. <laughs> Alright, let's try and get a front flip here. Ugh, that was not a very front flippy front flip. Alright, let's see if we can do an aerial backwards. <laughs> not very well. Oh, that was alright. The thing is, um, usually I think wider hitboxes feel better in the air. Like, um, think Batmobile, Plank hitbox. Ooh, there we go. The length of the car saved us there. Oh dear. <laughs> I knew he was going to go for the bump again, so I just stayed on the ground. Oh, he's got control of that. This is uh, ranked, by the way. <laughs> Just to make it interesting, sometimes people leave in casual. Oh! Ah, I maybe could have saved that. Hey, we get an opportunity to try another front flip. 
Hmm. I didn't seem all that great. Uh oh, Ariel. Not fast enough, not fast enough. Alright, he's staying back. Well, time to rely on the, uh, the old reliable. It's the dribbles. Whoops. Ooh. Yeah, the aerials feel all right. They're, they don't feel too bad. Let's see. Oh, no, I ran out of boost. Are you serious? Ooh, there we go. That's a save. I'm liking how this car feels in the air so far. Um, despite the, the lack of width there. Speedy? Man, that guy was so good we didn't get to try 50-50s very much. Although, I will say, I was pretty scared to try 50-50s. The, the few that I did try did not feel great. And I, I'm pretty much a 50-50 guy, so... Like, if I don't feel comfortable in it, it's maybe not <laughs> the car's strength. Um, the, the obvious strength was the flicks. I mean, that I think is shared among all breakout hitboxes, but in particular, this hitbox, it, or this car, it just felt very comfortable as well. The aerials felt all right, and uh, the power shots, once we figured out where the corner was, they were fine. Um, and I think that the front of the car was pretty much fine the whole time. But yeah, once we realized the corner was just a little to the side, then it, it helped a lot. So then, based on how it performs in the 50-50s, you can kind of extrapolate that its defense is not great. Because like, if you're not blocking cars, you have less to work with when you're blocking the ball. Um, its shooting, aerial and ground, seem to be average. And then the dribbling aspect is just where it shines the most. So that natural play style appears to me to really be a dribbly slash flick type car. That sort of secondarily specializes in shooting, but like you don't really, this is not a defensive car. This is like, this is an aggressive, like on the ball type car. You want possession and you don't want them near you. So there you have it. <laughs> that flick was actually too much. Wow, see, there you go. The flicks are just so forgiving when you have that much extra length. Like, even a normal car, it would have fallen off the front of. Right there. But not on the uh, Emperor. <laughs> so, yeah, it's definitely a dribbler. But there you go. I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick little review of the new car. And I hope it's helpful to you if you're thinking about buying the Rocket Pass. Although there is a lot of other cool stuff in the Rocket Pass just besides the car. This has got to be one of the coolest Rocket Passes they've done in a while. But anyway, that's going to do it for me. So I'll catch you next time. Later, later.